Rubisco is a protein that is essentially responsible for the air that you breathe and all the food that you eat. This is because it plays a key role in all plants during photosynthesis. That is the conversion of light energy and carbon dioxide into usable chemical energy in the form of organic compounds, the building blocks of all life on Earth. But for a protein that has been around for more than two billion years and is predicted to be one of the most abundant proteins on the planet, it doesn't really do its job very well. In short, it's easily distracted. See, Rubisco is meant to use light energy to incorporate carbon dioxide into these compounds, right? However, every so often, Rubisco will get distracted by oxygen. Together, these two produce an unusable product that costs the plant energy and carbon resources to, re to recycle. 97% of all plant species don't really have a way of addressing this unwanted Rubisco oxygen interaction. These plants undergo regular photosynthesis, or what we call C3 photosynthesis. Now, I like to think of C3 as like working from home. Let's say you have a project to do and you have the weekend to work on it. So you're working away Saturday and Sunday, but you know how it is. Dogs need to be walked, children played with, guests entertained, significant others talked to. <laughs> Despite these distractions, you get the job done for Monday, but was it your best work? No, far from it. So how would you address this issue? What would you do if you didn't want to be distracted? Easy, you pack up and you head to the office. Now, if you're heading out, you tend to want to look nice, right? So you shower, put your makeup on, brush your, your beard, <laughs> and get dressed. This all takes additional time and energy, but it's worth it because you know four hours at the office will be more productive than eight hours at home. And just like you, the other 3% of plant species utilizing C4 photosynthesis have figured this out as well. See, in C4 plants, Rubisco is kept separate from oxygen, the distraction, and energy is spent to collect, transport, and concentrate carbon dioxide around Rubisco. For example, in Crans Anatomy C4, Rubisco is kept in a separate cell layer, and carbon dioxide gets actively shuttled into that cell layer, leaving oxygen behind. My research focuses more on the second variation of C4, called single-cell C4. Here, Rubisco is maintained within the center of each photosynthetic cell, and carbon dioxide gets concentrated within the central compartment, thereby minimizing any Rubisco oxygen interaction. My work is uncovering the genetic factors responsible for directing Rubisco to the center of each of these cells, thereby creating that distractionless office space for it to work from. Because it is the culmination of details like these that will one day allow us to engineer more efficient photosynthetic systems like C4 into C3 plants. Crops such as rice, wheat, soybean, potatoes, tomatoes, apples, grapes, et cetera, et cetera, all stand to benefit from improved photosynthetic efficiency. And with global food supplies being predicted to soon fall below world demand, C4 photosynthesis might have the answers that we need. Thank you.